Hi, and welcome to Visual C++ Date and Time Tutorial. So, this is what I've just done earlier. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Visual C++ and I'll show you how to put one of these together. Hi, and welcome to Visual C++ Tutorial of how to create date and time. So, I'm going to start by clicking on Create New. Okay, I'm now going to select C++ and let's select next. Let's give our project name. I've just called it CPP date time. And I'm going to click on create. Okay, the development environment is ready. I will now select solution explorer. There we go. Right inside this solution explorer, make sure the name of your project is selected and let's click on the property here. Once you click on the property dialog appears, this is the dialog and the one we need here is called the linker. Click on the linker. Let's select system right there where we have subsystem. You need to change that to Windows subsystem. Without this, you will not be able to create your form. Now, the next thing is we have to create advanced, select advanced right in the advanced. I'm going to enter a name. I'll just call it main. You can call yours whatever you like. So to verify that everything is in Windows 64, I'm now going to click on the configuration manager. And right here, as you can see, is change that to 64 else. I will end up with an error. So select that, change that to 64. And here where we have the active solution platform, I'm going to change that to 64 as well accept that and make sure the debug is on click on close and let's apply what we've just done so far apply and click on ok now the next thing is make sure the solution explorer is selected as well okay right click on it and select the add then let's select add new item and now this dialogs pop up let's select ui and inside the ui select windows form you can leave the name as my form click on add and there your form should be ready any minute from now okay that's the development uh, environment ready unfortunately we have an error so let's go back straight to the solution explorer again you see right here that is my form double click on my form now right here we need some lines of code so that we can generate our form so to do that i'm going to go straight to this forum and just copy some lines of code this very forum, I will include this forum on my description area for you guys. I will copy these same lines of code there and just dump it right here. Paste. But there's going to be an error because I have to change this name to the name of my project. So my project is CPP date time. And let's correct that spelling of date there. And that error should disappear now. There we go now my form is ready if i click and run we should be able to see my form and there we go i've just created a form so i'm going to close that so one thing i have to do now is i'm going to have to close the whole program because i have to refresh the whole system before i can continue so we go right up there just click on close there we go now that's our program there so i'm going to double click on that and reopen it go straight to the solution explorer just creating the form that is taking that long right here that is my form double click on that very form there we go that's my form now we now have a form so depending on you whatever size you want it to be so i'm just going to kind of like let's fill up the whole screen 1386 by 788 that's fine okay now the next thing is come straight to where we have the tools i'm going to use two labels one label and two labels and let's come right down here the next thing i need is i need a timer double click on the timer the timer is right there those are my labels so let's go straight to the properties let's change this at uh, the font size of those labels so that you guys can see what i'm about to do now so i'm going to make it about maybe 36 make that bold that's fine drag them both this one would be okay that should be let's call that LDL LDL time and the second one is going to be called LDL date LDL date there we go now double click on your timer right here 
and let's create the following object date time so I'm gonna call that DT equals date time now there that's my very first object created then I'll create another one for date so the object is DA and this one for time is DT okay now that those are created the next thing we do is we, let's assign that for the very first one which is the timer dash text equals DT dot now dot too long time this one too long time string enter parenthesis there and let's repeat the same thing for the other one this should be text repeat the same thing for the date I'm gonna copy that and just change that to date paste and this become dates here and change here to date as well the reason why I'm doing this is because I search on YouTube there's nothing like this so what we'll do is you see this timer I'm now going to call this very timer let's go in uh, straight into our either form load or we can just use form initialize come right down there paste that and um, let's say dash start and that's all there is to it the only difficult part of it is just creating the whole form itself so I've just initialized the form and come right down here those are my lines of code you see it's easy it's not it's not difficult okay that's how you create your own date and time I'm now going to run the system and there we go guys you can see it we have a digital time there and date okay so I'm, going, I'm just going to increase the size so that you guys can see it much better and just reposition it and that's all there is to it okay guys with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of this channel you all have a nice day now happy father's day and bye for now